Hey, what's up, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington. This is Deer Meat for Dinner. This is my bro, Wyatt Russman. This joker is bad at the bone. He is a deer slayer, and today we are after a mule deer. We're gonna ride around and look in all these canyons, all these draws, all these areas, and we're gonna try to find one bedded up. Once we find him, we're gonna put the stalk on, see if we can't get an arrow in him. Just keep driving, just keep driving, just keep driving. This video is one of the craziest videos ever. I had an amazing hunt this morning. They had an amazing hunt, but we have not closed the deal yet. We're just on our way to the house and we spotted a really nice buck bedded up. He's got a bunch of like corn stalks in his antlers and uh, we're about to put the stalk on him right now. It's a shot in the dark, but hey, we're willing to shoot. Deer meat. Deer meat for dinner, baby. <laughs> this has been amazing. We had an incredible morning this morning. I saw several bucks, he saw several bucks. We were heading back to camp and spotted him bedded up. And uh, we put the spot in stock on it. It was, the deer got out of his bed, actually came up on the hill, and uh, you made a great shot, man. Awesome. Glad you made it here. <laughs> Wyatt's a great guy, and uh, 
Just a lot of fun to hunt with, man. A lot of fun to hunt with. That is my Excalibur 308. I bought this at Cabela's on the way here <laughs> because I, I knew we were gonna need a crossbow and uh, he loves a crossbow hunt. Who thinks I should give him the crossbow? Me, you can have the crossbow. <laughs> Thanks, man. Hey, dude. To me, it's just epic to come out here with my friends and my family and hunt and get to spread the love. Man, you're a great friend, you're a great guy, and uh, I hope this isn't the last year you kill with that crossbow. Oh, no. <laughs> awesome. Love you guys, we'll see you in the kitchen. Real quick, this is, ow, that's hot, that's on. That is a bunch of bacon right there. In here is some bacon grease. And we are frying up some deer ribs. All you got to do is take your ribs, uh, cut them out individually so you have a rib like that, and then fry them. Make sure when you're frying the ribs, fry them until they're really nice and done. Otherwise, they'll be tough. But that right there, that's camp food. This is what you do. You just season them, put some flour on them, and let it roll. Now, that's just a bonus feature of this video, y'all. Whenever I cleaned my deer, we boned out this ham. And just to show you, that's a piece of, that's one of the muscles off of that ham. And we'll just cut a couple steaks out of it. Look at that, look at that steak. Nice, about, about a half inch thick is perfect. Jim Baldridge Secret Seasoning it ain't secret no more. Deer Meat for Dinner knows all about it. This stuff smells good, y'all. I ain't kidding you. Oh. Take a look at this, y'all. This right here, what I call love potion number nine. Fried deer ribs, y'all. Whew. It is time to get this party started, y'all. Take these little rascals right off the grill, set them right over there. Oh my gosh. Some will be a little better done than the others, but hey, they'll all be delicioso. Oh my gosh. I've been eating little venison cutlets like this all my life. Hard to imagine that was literally shot and processed today. And we're eating it tonight. Let's go eat some ribs. I told you if I got 10,000 likes, I was bringing a piece of meat and stopping the trucker. What's your name? Toredo. Toredo? Yes. Where are you I'm from? South Africa. South Africa? Yeah. Holy mackerel, all my best friends, Jordan Doyle, Kevin Doyle, Paul Cablin, all my partners are from South Africa. Okay. You ever eat biltong? Yeah. Yeah, mate. There's some deer meat right there. Take as much as you want. Now we want to see if it's any good. Mm. This is good. Isn't that good? This is Trado, y'all, straight out of South Africa. He's been eating biltong all his life. Now he's eating mule deer steak straight off the grill. Thank you very much. Hey, my channel's called Deer Meat for Dinner on YouTube. Okay. And you just I'll had some deer out. meat for dinner. Thank you. you. Have a wonderful day, brother. You, Take care. Hey, this is what life is all about, y'all. Now let's go eat some ourselves. This lady is awesome. Her name is Miss Rhonda. This is her husband, Scott. They just got married last week. So wish them a happy, no, I'm just kidding. They've been married like 50 years. But uh, we are having so much fun up here. And that is that backstrap I was showing you. So anytime you're gonna cook a backstrap, that skin right there, that's called silver skin. It's just a connective tissue. Well, it's some kind of tissue. Cut down, don't cut all the way through it. Just cut down like that. And then take it and pull and your knife should just run right along it. Well, it kinda did, kinda. Oh, sorry about that. 
We call that the dog's piece. Let's say dusty. Lots Cut of down. Okay. And what you're left with is pretty meat. The three ingredients we have, oh, this is the secret seasoning. This is some signature spicy pickle relish. And then we have, I love this stuff. Uh, it's Philadelphia chive and onion. It's a whipped sour cream or whipped cream cheese. Take that, throw that in there, just like that. Take this stuff, throw it in there, about like that. And then we just wanna mix it around. There's our back strap, see that? That's a thing of beauty, y'all. Okay, so you don't wanna cut across like a sandwich. You're trying to make a pocket. E, stick your knife in here. Try to come right down the center to about right there. And then you're gonna have that pocket and just, just hollow it out a little bit. Don't cut out the back. Oh my goodness. Take a little bit of this here secret seasoning. And we're gonna just season this rascal all up. Oh yeah, man, look at that. Oh yeah. Spicy relish. Daggum. Whipped cream cheese. Top diggity. If y'all could smell this, you'd probably lick your phone right now. I ain't even kidding about that. Just like that. Take your bacon, lay it down, make yourself a nice flat landing spot. Then you take your meat, just like that. Make sure she's nice, seasoned up. If you, it's wild game, so you're gonna see a hair here and there. Take all your meat, all your bacon, lay it over one direction, just like that. Make sure it all goes about the same way. And you want it tight, not so tight that it tears, but tight enough that, you know, that now you take you some toothpicks just like this and you're gonna go just right there check that out y'all tell me the truth drop a big thumbs up if you think that looks delicious now let's go throw it on a grill what kind of wood is that that is mulberry mulberry I grew up eating mulberries and I get my black my hands all black my mouth black my clothes black I'd turn everything black from mulberries. <laughs> this is a true deer camp meal. Going on. Well, it wouldn't have happened without you. Hey, this, this is, is epic. Perfect. Yeah. This, this is epic, epic. So what a great day, man. What a great day. This is nice, low heat, and we're just gonna let that cook. It's probably gonna take about 45 minutes to cook. She's been cooking for a good while now, and that is what I expect it to look like. Oh yes! All right, you guys, so we gave it about 10 minutes just to rest. When you let meat like this rest just a little bit, it absorbs the natural juices. Now, let's cut us a piece. Watch this. Now, I don't know how perfect or how... Look at that. Good Little kale, fresh sprouts, some uh, croutons, carrots, and then we're gonna use a cilantro avocado vinaigrette. Just something good, something nice, you know? Something a little different. Our sweet potatoes that are sliced up, put in some aluminum foil, cooked out there on that griddle, and then we put some marshmallows on top. Guarantee that'll be good. And then we have some of that beautiful venison straight off the grill. Oh my gosh, I almost lost a piece of bacon. That right there, ladies and gentlemen, that's what's for dinner. Man, this is epic. Yeah. I'm a beef eater, but when you get into the game, what you've done with this deer meat, the seasoning that you've put on it, 
This is perfect, man. The salad that you've put with it, the sweet potatoes, the way you've done them. We've had an amazing hunt. We've had an amazing trip. And we've got to cook some amazing food with some amazing people. And that's what Deer Meat for Dinner is all about. I want to tell you right there that I appreciate you, I love you, and I thank you for being a part of our channel and a part of our lives. But for now, this is all we got. Take care, God bless. I'm getting ready to eat, and we are gone.